Dear students, in this video, we will solve the problem number 8.5 from the chapter number 8. The problem is, explain how the ASM and ASMD charts differ from the conventional flow chart. Okay, that means we have to find the difference between ASMD, this is suppose one type of chart and this is suppose another type of chart. So basically, we have to find out the difference between ASM chart and flow chart. In the second part of the problem, we have to use figure 8.5 as an illustration so the difference in interpretation okay in the second part we have to consider the figure 8.5 as an illustration and we have to show the difference in interpretation and how they are interpreted we have to tell in the third part of the problem we have to explain the difference between an asm chart and an asmd chart and in the fourth part of the problem we have to write in our own words and we have to discuss the use and merit of using ASMD chart. In the first part of the problem, let us find out the answer. The difference between this ASM chart or ASMD chart in comparison to the conventional flow chart. So in this table, I have shown here the ASM or ASMD chart here. And here in this side, in the right hand side, we have the conventional flow chart. So the first difference is the ASM chart describes the sequence of events as well as timing relationship between the states of a sequential controller and the events that occur while going from one state to the next state. Okay, that means it has some timing relationship. In the conventional flow chart, it also describes the procedural steps and decision path of an algorithm in a sequential manner without taking into consideration of their timing relationship. That means the first difference is the timing relationship. So in ASM chart, we have a timing relationship and in conventional flow chart, we do not have timing relationship. The second difference is the operations specified by an ASM chart are executed concurrently for each ASM block. That means you, I hope you know about the ASM blocks and within each ASM block, the operations are executed concurrently that means at the falling or the rising edge of the clock all the operations will be done at the same edge okay thus the operations listed within a state box the operation specified by a conditional box and the transfer to the next state in each asm blocks are executed at the same clock edge that means basically it is saying that all the operations within an asm block are executed concurrently whereas in the case of flowchart the operations specified in a flowchart are executed sequentially one at a time that means step by step it will execute the operation the third difference is an asm chart is a precise set of rules how to solve a problem that means it shows or it represents the set of rules of solving a problem whereas in a conventional flowchart it is a pictorial representation of an algorithm. That means whatever algorithm we are going to design, we first make the flowchart. Okay, so the first part of the problem is complete. In the second part, we have to use figure 8.5 as an illustration and show the difference in their interpretation. Okay, there are various parts in the figure. So this is figure 8.5. Okay, this is a figure of ASM chart, conditional box and examples. This is a rectangular box with rounded corner. This is called as the conditional box and this rectangular box is nothing but a state box okay here we will have state name okay this is a condition this is a decision box okay this diamond shaped box is a decision box okay here we will write down the condition now in this figure view we can see that we have these state boxes this is the rectangular boxes and this rounded corner rectangular box this is also called as the oval shaped box this represents the conditional box here we have some register operation that means zero is loaded into this register okay so or we can say that this register is cleared okay or we can say that this is this register is flushed so whenever we have flag is equal to one the control will go this way okay when the flag is equal to zero the control will go this way okay that means whenever flag is zero there will be no operation or no register operation it will directly go to state s2 from s1 in the state s2 we have some operation okay and it will go to s3 in the third figure we can see this is similar to almost similar to this figure b so the main difference between this figure b okay figure b and figure c is that the asm chart is in this in this figure b mixes description of the data path and the controller 
okay and whereas in this figure c the asm chart for only the controller is shown in figure this c in which the register operations are omitted so we are not showing here we are just writing here plus r that means r will be loaded with zero here we have load f underscore z means that means we have to load f with z okay with the value of z and other part of this graph is the same so here we can write from figure 8.5 you can write in this way from figure 8.5 with start equal to 1 and flag equal to 1 signal plus underscore r that means this is the signal now okay is asserted that means this signal is now executed at the clock edge the states move to s2 and register r is flushed so the meaning is here this flush is that the register is flushed here in this third part of the problem we are asked to explain the difference between the asm chart and asmd chart this asm means algorithmic state machine and here we have algorithmic state machine and data path that means we have some data path here as well okay so we have to explain the difference among this asm and asmd chart algorithmic state machine and data path asmd chart were developed to clarify the information dis displayed by asm charts and to provide an effective tool for designing a control unit for a given data path unit and asmd chart differs from an asm chart in three important ways so the three main differences are here the first difference is an asmd chart does not list register operations within the state box the second difference is the edge of an asmd chart are annotated with register operations that are concurrent with the state transition indicated by the edge okay the third difference is an asmd chart includes conditional boxes identifying the signals which control the register operations that annotate the edges of the chart therefore we can write does an asmd chart associates register operations with state transitions rather than with states it also associates register operations with the signals that cause them consequently an asmd chart represents a partition of a complex digital machine into its data path and control unit and clearly indicates the relationship between them there is no room for confusion about the timing of register operations or about the signals that launch them okay that means in the case of asmg chart we do not have any confusion about the timing of register operations or about the signals that launch them now let us go to our fourth part of the problem discuss the use that means first of all we have to write down the use and then we have to write down the merit of using asmd chart okay so first of all let us see the use of asmd chart so here we have this uses so here we have this use of asmd chart so the first use is one the first use is one important use of a state machine is to control register operations on a data path in a sequential machine that has been partitioned into the controller and a data path. The second use is an ASMG chart links the ASM chart of the controller to the data path it controls in a manner that serves as a universal model representing all synchronous digital hardware design these are the uses of asmd chart now we have to see the merits of asmd chart so here we have the merits of asmd chart so the first merit is asmd chart helps to clarify the design of a sequential machine by separating the design of its data path from the design of the controller while maintaining a clear relationship between the two units the second merit is Register operations that occur concurrently with the state transitions are annotated on a path of the chart rather than the state boxes or in conditional boxes on the path. That means this is not available in the ASM chart. We have only in ASMD chart because these registers are not a part of the controller. Okay. The third merit of ASMD chart over ASM chart is the outputs generated by the controller are the signals that control the registers of the data path and cause the register operations annotated on the ASMD chart. So this is the answer of the problem number 8.5. Thank you for watching. If you have any question, please put it in the comment section below. Also like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.